Congratulations, you've officially made it to the right side of YouTube. I don't care how long I've lived out here, I will never get used to doing the slip and slide on the roads. Leah said I look like a detective. Was that the goal? No. <laughs> but you guys will not believe. I'm gonna get on Instagram and tell you guys over on my Instagram story. He's like, leave me alone. <laughs> Red lipstick on dates is everything. And it gets everywhere. You have to be patient, okay? He's like, girl, shut up. <clears throat> what happens as soon as I pull out my camera? Like, girl, stop acting up in front of company. Like, what the f Rihanna? <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Shelly. If you are new here and if you've already been here as always, thank you guys so much for all your love and support on my channel. And again, welcome back. If you have not already and you want to become a part of the Seashell and Bombshell family, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It is free and we would love to have you. Also, congratulations, you've officially made it to the right side of YouTube. We're starting off a new vlog. You guys, I've been having the craziest morning. So first and foremost, it is, what is today's date, oh my God. February 22nd, Wednesday, February 22nd. So I've been getting back on my schedule of waking up at 5 a.m. Actually, I was up a little bit earlier than 5 a.m., but 5 a.m. I had a Pilates class at 9. I did not know that it was ice raining this morning or that it was raining and then the rain froze and now it's ice. So it's super, super slippery. So when I left out for Pilates, I was like slipping. Even when I walked Milo, I was slipping. Milo was like trotting. He was so nervous about walking outside. So it was just a little bit scary. So I ended up canceling my Pilates class and I'm like, I'll just come to the fitness center that is in my community. Got here and the fitness center is closed until March the 2nd, I think they said. We could still use like a free weight room, but it's so small and compact that even just four or five people being in there at the same time, it's crowded. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just not even gonna go. But I was so determined to go to the gym today because I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this morning I woke up, I got on the scale. I don't know why, I've been avoiding the scale. I hope this is focused on me, is it? Yeah, okay. I've been eating air fried french fries like crazy. I've been eating plant-based chicken sandwiches. I feel like when I cook for real, like when I make my meals at home and like meal prep, it's way more effective. I start leaning out the way that I want to. And anyway, like I was saying, I got on the scale this morning. Granted, some of what I saw on the scale is probably muscle, but a lot of it is not. And I was just not happy with myself. I was like, girl, you've been, but the thing is, I know that I've been avoiding getting on the scale because I know that I've been doing the opposite of what I want to be doing. Like, yeah, I've been active and going to the gym and stuff and going to Pilates, but it's nothing if my diet isn't right or, you know, my eating habits aren't right. I got to make sure that my eating habits align with who it is and what it is that I'm trying to achieve. With that being said, we're going to go to, I'm just going to go to the grocery store. I'm not going to bring you guys. I feel like in the last few vlogs, I've just been bringing you guys into the grocery store, but I mean, I go grocery shopping like multiple times a week. It is still 
Oh shoot. You guys probably hear it. It's still raining and I'm like terrified, but I saw the salt truck. So I'm hoping that it's not slippery driving down the road. I don't care how long I've lived out here. I will never get used to doing the slip and slide on the roads. stopping at my P.O. box. I wasn't expecting anything. Okay, so this is for a sponsorship that I have. I don't even know if you guys can even really tell, but one of his arms is out of his sweater. So he must have been trying to take it off. Were you trying to take your sweater off while mom was gone? Were you trying to take your sweater off when mom was gone? You guys look... <laughs> didn't want it on anymore I only put it on you because you were shaking when we came back inside because you were so cold he already went on like three walks by like 9 a.m. because <laughs> I took him out at like 5 and then he went out with Leia like before Leia went to school then I took him out again before I left so now he's so tired he got his energy out He's like, leave me alone. <laughs> okay, why is it so dark? You guys, it is so gloomy in my house. If I don't have sunlight, like if it's not sunny out, my house just looks so dark. So I'm always trying to turn on like moving lights. Let's turn up this light, okay. Much better. I'll show you guys, I do like a little grocery haul to show you guys what I got so hold on let me set everything up grocery haul I got some minute rice I got feta cheese cream cheese for the bagels as well as um, these little bagel chips that I got over there everything bagel tortilla shells I've never tried these before so thought that'd be good and then I got some red pepper hummus I just restocked on some seasonings um, crushed red pepper oregano cayenne pepper, Himalayan sea salt, minced garlic. I ended up stopping at Walmart because Jewel didn't have any more minced garlic, nor did they have any dill. But I love black beans. I love having these with like rice, shrimp, stuff like that. So I got two cans of those. I got some chickpeas, two cans of those. This cooked shrimp, I don't know why. Oh, this, I was having this thought out actually. So I'm gonna put that over there because I didn't just get that today. Um, and then these are the impossible burgers that I like. I know a lot of people don't like plant-based burgers because they feel like it tastes different. I'm here to tell you, no, it does not. Here are the bagel crisps that I wanna have with cream cheese and smoked salmon. I just feel like I love smoked salmon and I recently got some from Trader Joe's, the seasoned one, if you guys wanna try that out. And then I got some tomatoes. Some more strawberries because I'm almost out of my strawberries and I've been loving just having these as like a snack whenever I have a sweet tooth. I got some berry medley because I want to make an acai bowl. Actually, I think I'm going to make that today, like right now when I'm done. Um, and then I got a yellow pepper, red pepper. I got two green jalapenos. And then I got spring mix, which is what I use to make salad. And I showed you guys the baby doll and that's pretty much it. Oh, and I also got red onion, but they are peeling, so I'm gonna peel the rest of them and then put them in the little container that is in my fridge. Another thing that I got from Walmart, I got Leia some of these socks because one thing about Leia, she does not keep up with her socks and she needed black socks. I absolutely hate white socks because I feel like when, once they start looking dirty, I just throw them away, so. Yeah, I got her all black socks and yeah, that's pretty much it. But I wanna show you guys, I was watching this video from this YouTuber, her name is Rihanna Janice, but I ended up finding her channel yesterday when I was looking for pescatarian meal options. She said she got them off of Pinterest and I actually just created a Pinterest board to add like um, pescatarian and seafood recipe options. If you don't follow me on Pinterest, go follow me at I am Shelly with 
like four Ys. Oh, let me like her video. I watched this video yesterday and I actually watched it again today and she has so many good recipes. So I'm gonna link her channel down below. I don't even know what other videos that she has. Oh, she vlogs too. Oh, let me subscribe. Like I said, I watched her video last night and today and every recipe that she made and she did like a breakfast, lunch and dinner recipe. You guys, when I tell you everything looked so good. So I went out and bought damn near everything that she mentioned in the video if I didn't have it at home already. So I'm going to make one or two of the meal options that she gave, but I do want to make an acai bowl really quick. The place that I usually go to get my acai bowls is actually closed right now. I think they're remodeling. So I haven't been to get an acai bowl. I feel like everyone's remodeling like my gym is remodeling and then that place is doing a remodel it's crazy anyway um let's make an acai bowl really quick i was actually editing this video that i want to go live today so i need to finish doing that and then i have to film some other sponsored content today so i'm gonna get that done and then edited sent over and yeah we are back on our ship and i'm proud because Look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, I. So They kinda tell me what I'm thinking This recipe is really good. However, two things. Next time I will do less almond milk. The almond milk that I used is unsweetened. Because it's unsweetened, it's very just bland. So I think I'll use a little bit of agave next time. And I think I'll use a little more yogurt so that it can be thicker. Because it's sort of, if you can see, sort of like watery. I don't like that. I like for my acai bowls to be like creamy. But it is good. It tastes very fresh, which is a plus in my book. I just sat down at my computer. As you guys can see, I'm using my little laptop stand. And I'm going to finish editing the vlog so I can upload it today. And yeah, that is pretty much all that I have on my agenda for now. I kind of want to make the shrimp and rice. So I think we can have that for dinner. Like shrimp, rice, black beans. I think that'll be good. So I will tap in with you guys once I get started. Mm. So I just finished editing my vlog and it's currently transporting, but you guys will not believe the power is out. So yeah, I don't know. I'm probably going to have to go to Starbucks so that I can get it exported and uploaded unless the Starbucks is closed, unless their power went out too. Let me see. It's literally been raining all day and it's like ice rain. Let's call Starbucks and see if they're open. Hi, I was calling to see if your power is still on. Yeah, power is still on. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no worries. Okay, bye. Oh, Starbucks still has power, so I guess we'll go there. So I can get this video uploaded because, no, I cannot go another day. I feel too guilty for not uploading for days. I'm going to get on Instagram and tell you guys over on my Instagram stories. Leia's here, my little. It's Leia. 
Bud? Yeah? You okay? Mom, I almost fell. I know. It's really icy out there. See the icy on the bus, When I got off the bus, it was like, um... Um, like it was slippery right there. Yeah. And I like slipped. Grisha was laughing. <laughs> it was funny. Like the way I slipped, I was just like. <laughs> oh, I had a package. Yep. What'd you order? You keep ordering stuff. I know. Hello. How was school? Your sweater. How was school? You guys, I don't even know if you can even see. Yes, you could see it. Look the at the icicles. Ice on the trees this is just from today <laughs> this is so crazy wait let me try to zoom in more i am packing up my laptop bag because we are gonna go to Starbucks because I really want to upload my video. What if there what there is there? And I'm hoping that it's not like slippery. Cause I do not, I cannot, I will not play slip and slide or be on a slip and slide down the down the road. I'm just, I'm just Alexa. Not willing. No, the power's out, babe. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Or I'm wireless. I'm gonna grab my purse and then we can go. I am determined to get this video uploaded. So, you're here. It was on me again. It was Starbucks on Leia again, even though she could load the card with my money. an hour and 31 minutes this isn't even an hour vlog i don't know why it's i mean it is like 50 minutes but i don't know why it's taking so long Good morning, you guys. Welcome to another day in the vlog. I think yesterday, the last time that I picked up the camera, I was at Starbucks. Leah and I and Milo came with us to Starbucks, but I tried to upload the vlog. I had no luck. Last night was crazy, you guys. Like, nothing like that has ever happened to us for as long as I can remember, but we had the craziest like ice storm i showed you guys like the ice on the trees and stuff it was really crazy it wasn't even freezing cold like that's the thing it was like 35 degrees or something like that i think today is like 37 38 degrees so it wasn't like 10 negative anything or whatever it wasn't anything crazy so that's why i was more so surprised at how it was it was just crazy but our power was out up until this morning so i woke up at like 4 45 my alarm went off why is it saying that my memory card is Oh, hold on. Okay, I forgot what I was saying. So this morning, I woke up at like 4.45. When I woke up, the power was still out. I just started praying, you guys, I was praying. I ended up going on to Comed's website and looking to see what the update was about when the power will be back on. And they were saying this evening, between this evening and Saturday, and actually one of my friends, she just texted me and said that their power is probably gonna be out until Saturday. And that is just crazy. We woke up this morning, like I said, I got up at 4.45, the power was still out. And our service on our cell phones, like the internet on our cell phones wasn't working properly. I think the cell phone tower was down. So like we couldn't FaceTime and text and stuff, but we could 
like talk on the phone it was pitch black i'll insert a picture right here so you guys can see because i took a picture on my phone of what it looked like from my bedroom it was dark and i was thinking about going to my cousin's house like obviously if our power didn't come on today then i was gonna go to my cousins and we would just stay over there because their power was still on but yeah it was just really crazy we lit candles last night leah and i hung out in bed and then leah just went to sleep because there was nothing else that we could have done and i just feel like god is just so good because we didn't lose out on like any food like you guys when we open our freezer today so the power was out from like 4 24 p.m yesterday through this morning because i that's what i was getting to I, i'm all over the place but i ended up dozing back off like i stayed up until like six and then i just dozed back off because i'm like it's dark there there's nothing i can do i can't do my morning routine or anything because we have no windows in our bathroom so it wasn't like I could go in the bathroom and whatever. It was just dark and I was like, no, I'm gonna go back to sleep. So I dozed back off and I woke up to Leia saying, power's back on. And it was like seven, I think maybe like 7.15. And I don't know, I just started praising God. Like I was just like, I'm so thankful because when I went in the freezer, I looked in the freezer, our ice was still frozen. Like everything was still pretty much intact. And I'm just so thankful and grateful for that because that was my main thing. I'm like, I just went grocery shopping. Like I've been going grocery shopping all throughout the week. And that would just suck if I missed out on like, you know, lost out on all of our food and had to repurchase. Like groceries are expensive. Things are like three times the price that they used to be. And it's ridiculous. So I'm just glad that we didn't lose out on anything and we're safe and we were home and comfortable. We all slept in the bed together. Milo slept in his bed, but Leah and I slept in the bed together and we just like, it was fine. Luckily our laptops were charged. So we were able to charge our phones and stuff on our laptops and yeah. So that's pretty much what happened yesterday. I'm just glad that it's over. It's a new day and I was able to get my video uploaded. So now it's just checking for copyright and whatever else on here. So I'm gonna finish letting this export and upload, load up the description box and I'm gonna let that go live today. And I'm so happy because I have not uploaded a video and I think it's today will be like 10 days. And then I also made an appointment with my beautician. I have not had my hair done all month and it's time it's time for me to get this taken down my hair needs some tlc usually i have to wash my hair at least one time in between my appointments because my beautician recommends that i wash my hair once every two weeks this is a upar unit i know a lot of you guys have questions about it i don't like to put heat on my hair like that i rarely ever put any heat on my hair which is why my hair doesn't really have any damage like my curls still revert back and everything because i rarely use any heat i sleep every night with a scarf and a bonnet and i like twist my hair around using a satin scrunchie my hair rarely ever like frizzes up or anything and if it does i'll just hit my roots with a hot comb and go on about my business and i do use a heat protectant spray whenever i do decide to use heat i think that's all that i wanted to address on that but yeah so anyway good morning you guys welcome back to another day in the vlog i just made me a cup of coffee i'm gonna sit here at my computer i'm gonna add some more things to my amazon storefront link everything in my description box of my video are you relaxing are you relaxing <laughs> you guys this is milo's new favorite seat he's always relaxing over here and look his little treat is on the floor this is his busy bone and whenever we touch it or take it he like chases us down but you're such a good boy you're so sweet he's a sweet boy this mommy's a good boy also i wanted to update you guys on this candle right here i'm like zooming all the way in on it but you guys this candle oh my god it smells so good i think i told you guys already but it smells so good <laughs> it smells so good you guys there was one that i used to get i think it was like wild iris and santal or like santal something that i used to get from target it was in like a green jar you've probably seen it in previous vlogs i've talked about it but this one smells much much better like it actually smells up the room and it smells so good it smells so luxe so i'm gonna actually go and get the bigger one and then i kind of want to go and get white roses to put in the vase in the center of the table i feel like the eucalyptus leaves might be a bit much 
and these for some reason are dying out much quicker than my other ones have in the past so i think i'm gonna go and get like white roses and just put those in the middle of the table and just keep it very simple because i feel like i don't know maybe that's a little bit too much the checks are done on this and there are no issues have been found no copyright strikes or anything so that is every content creator's dream i'm gonna add an end screen i always add the end screen I don't know. let me show you guys actually while i'm doing this so at the end of every single one of my videos i always add the end screen you guys probably see that when you're watching my videos on your phone or on tv you'll see that there are options and if you're a content creator or youtuber this is something that you can do that helps to get your other videos because sometimes people this is their first time watching you and this is like the best for viewer there's an option i hope you guys can see but there's an option here that says like best for viewer and then that is based off of other content that that viewer has watched they will recommend a video for that viewer and then this one is your most recent upload so i always use that feature and there's also a subscription bar at the bottom so you can just tap on that and subscribe if you haven't already so i always do that on my videos and then i always add cards to my videos and i usually like to do it throughout the video so i add a card there what video is that yeah so that was my most recent upload so i always add my most recent upload first and then what i'll do is i'll go to like a playlist and in my playlist i'll add like my vlogs and then i'll do another card and add like another vlog and then let me see i have another vlog and another vlog so you can you can do whatever you want you can link a channel you can link a product or whatever if you talk about a product you can link it and youtube gives that option i try not to use the feature of like linking anything outside of youtube on my videos because i feel like then youtube won't let that video perform well just very similar to instagram like when you link something in your instagram story that story post doesn't do as well instagram will make it so that that story doesn't like pop up as much for others because it's a link that's directing people outside of instagram and they want more people on the app so if you're linking things that puts people in another app instagram will shadow ban you i mean it doesn't always happen but there's a chance that you can be shadow banned or they will make it so that that story doesn't get a bunch of views so with that you know i just avoid linking anything in the ad carts on youtube for that reason like i don't want them to not push my video but in the description box everything will be linked there i got a package from h and m i want to show you guys why is it so dark let me turn this one on it's still gloomy outside i was trying to get dressed and like go take pictures and stuff for instagram because i have not taken any pictures lately but let me show you guys these sunglasses like how cute i love these i told you guys that i'm really into the cat eye frame these days and this little leopard print cheetah print whatever i am so in love so i got those but let me show you this jacket i ordered a trench coat jacket i've been wanting a trench coat for ever like one of these type of trench coats so i'm hoping that this one is what i need it to be i think they had it on sale on each one. Oh yes yes okay i have to try it on and see but this is what it looks like so so chic and so my style I hope it fits like oversized. I ordered it in a large. And okay. Let me try it on really quick and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Here is the jacket. Let me show you in the mirror. It does come with a belt and it's the perfect size, perfect length, long, like down to my nearly down to my ankles i love this is the perfect trench coat it's oversized how i like it and i love when the sleeve comes with this little thing on i don't even know what it's called but i love this oh i thought i didn't have any pockets i was like what but yeah so cute so i'm gonna dress it up and like 
accessorize it really quick before we go. I was trying to decide what purse I wanted to wear and sunglasses. So I'm thinking I could do this bag, wear it as a crossbody. And, and then my sunglasses. I could do these maybe. Let's see. I need to look at myself in the mirror, hold on. I don't know why, but I feel like this purse, like I love this purse, don't get me wrong, but I feel like I am starting to get away from more gaudy like bags and stuff. I really love my Prada bag because it's just simple, it's classy, it's sleek, which is why it's my most worn bag, but I don't know, I feel like this one is like more of a statement piece and I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna try a different, a few different options. Let's see which one I wanna go with. I have this bag that I got from Rum. I think this is Zara. I don't see a tag, but I'm almost positive it's from Zara, and I can wear it as a crossbody. I like how the black bounces off of the tan color of the jacket. I could do this purse with these sunglasses. Let's see what that looks like. And then I could do black leather boots i just really want to wear these sunglasses i could do this and then put on my black boots and i think this is the look and then i just have gold accessories there's gold hardware on the purse this is perfect i like that the buttons are dark they have like black and brown in them so you can kind of dress this up however you want but i can also ow i can also take my scarf, I have this black scarf. It's kind of thin, it's like a linen scarf. And let's see, I can either throw it like back like that or I could bring this around. Give the illusion like it's a little bit thicker. I was gonna put my hair up in a clip, but I like my hair down when I'm wearing a scarf. So let me get some perfume. I'm kind of feeling like this one by Kayali. Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. I really like this one. It smells so good. And I need to drench my scarf in this because for some reason when things are in my closet and they've been in my closet for a long time, they start to have that closet smell, which low-key smells like a funeral home. If you know, you know. Okay, I'm gonna put my boots on really quick and then I'll show you guys the end results. I actually changed the vibe of the outfit. I wasn't really feeling my hair, so I threw this hat on. It's the same color, just about, as this jacket. I ended up switching out the sunglasses to the leopard print ones because they are smaller, so they fit right underneath the hat, which I like I really love the way that this looks and then you guys know the jacket bag and I just threw the scarf around me so that I could have the necklace show because my earrings don't really show with my hair down like this and I'm just wearing my Yeezy foam runners because I mean whatever but yeah super cute and chic hopefully I can convince Leah to get a pick for me for my thumbnail but we'll see because one thing about Leia, she does not like to take pictures. She is not an assistant and she will gladly let anybody know. But yeah, here's the look. I'll link everything that I can down below for you guys. Actually, this hat is from Amazon. I got it like two years ago. It's like kind of wrinkled at the top, but it's cool. Yeah, outfit of the day. So I just pulled up to Leia's school. I'm picking Leia up from school. Milo knows that we're getting Leia because I told him that we're about to get Leia and I know people don't feel like dogs understand but I promise you they do. Ever since I said that he's been crying. <laughs> Milo boy, get in your seat please. Leia's coming. You have to be patient, okay? He's like, girl, shut up. <clears throat> Anyway, picking Leia up from school. I've been looking for locations so that I can 
get pictures I feel like I only get pictures when I go out and do stuff and I really want to get my Instagram up and popping like I've been buying like different pieces and stuff and like really into fashion lately and I'm not saying that I'm a fashion icon or anything of the sort I'm try or I'm trying to be a fashion icon but I feel like I'm coming into my own and developing my own sense of style like I used to be really into like dressing up nice and like styling myself and stuff like that I used to be really into that but then I feel like when COVID hit it kind of took away my spark and now I'm getting it back so I've been ordering just like a bunch of cute, basic, simple things that I can dress up, accessorize the way that I like, and I wanna get some good pictures. I'm trying to switch up my Instagram feed, and I wanna have like a bunch of photos, like nice photos, quality photos, doing like photo dumps and stuff like that, like really stepping up my influencer game. I don't know, I was seeing what everyone else was doing and like how their feeds look, and I was sort of doubting myself, cause I'm like, man, like my feed doesn't look good like theirs or whatever but now i've sort of figured out you know how i want everything to be executed so i've been like scoping out different areas and stuff and trying to decide like what i want my background to look like just trying to plan out how i really want my feed to look and i have an idea i've been getting some inspiration since i've been heavy on pinterest so yeah i'm excited and i found this little the cute little coffee shop i think i told you guys about it in a previous vlog i want to go and get some pictures over there and hopefully Leia will snap the pics for me. <laughs> Leia said I look like a detective. Was that the goal? No. <laughs> <laughs> like the old fashioned detective. <laughs> Not in a bad way. I'm saying like, oh my God, I have to pee. We can pull over by the coffee shop really quick. <laughs> Cause I kind of wanted you to get a pic of me, if that's okay. Th this is why she lets, wants me to go places with her because she wants me to take a pic. At least you didn't say flake this time. What, what did I say last time that like made you mad when I was like, flick, flick, t flick me up, something like that? And I was like, no. I told Leia, I was like, I was like, flick me up, come on, flick me up. And she was blue. She was like, can you stop saying that? I've never heard anyone say that. I'm like, oh, perfect, flick me up. It was so nice. Flick me up. It was bad. <laughs> but they wouldn't Leia, stop. can you say hi to Milo? Hello, baby. Hello, Leia. I see you. Hello, I see you. You're so cute. You need to stop crying. I know. You're so adorable. <laughs> Is that all you say so that you can get him to be quiet? Yeah, see, just, he doesn't stop. Just spit it all out at once. <laughs> you see them? What are they doing? <laughs> you know what? Kids are so bad. I just can't. <laughs> They only have three left of this one. When I tell you guys it is that good. I'm back to get the bigger one. This is the 30, I think, no, 40 ounce of the Santal and Ginger. Okay, here, babe. And that's all I needed. Yeah, right? Look at this, though. How cute is this? What is that? <laughs> is it, I think, oh, I think I know. Oh, it's connected, I thought. Yeah. Like That's really cute. What is this supposed to be? It's heavy. If it'll focus. It says decorative figurine object. And they just had it right there. That's cute. This looks so much better than having the big eucalyptus leaves 
sticking out. I like it better with the roses sitting on top of these two books. And I like being able to see my Monstera over there. And it just doesn't look too chaotic. I have my other candle burning over there. And yeah, the vibes here are just immaculate. Another thing that I got was this rug. I'll link this down below. This was 20 bucks at Target. I've always wanted a kitchen rug, but I never found one that I liked. And this one was the last one, right? This was the last one that was in our Target, but it's so cute. I just put a little rug pad underneath and yeah, let me hide the tag though. It is so cute. I need to get new kitchen towels because I still have the gingerbread ones up, but yeah, so cute. So I will link this down below as well as the candle. Yeah, I'm done with the living room. I'm not gonna keep playing with it. I love the way that it looks now, so I don't need to do anything else. It's late here, but I already unthawed my shrimp. I'm gonna use the recipe from the video that I was telling you guys about before, um, Rihanna Janice. I will link her video down below or her channel down below so you guys can check her out, but I'm just following her recipe, <laughs> so yeah just check out her video i'm gonna try to follow it closely so i'm not gonna talk to you guys through it i'm gonna just let you guys watch we'll do a little b-roll and then i will show you guys at the end how it turned out so let's get started to let Milo out and then I'm gonna head to Pilates. I think I'm gonna try to like bring you guys in there with me. We're not supposed to have our phones and or cameras in class with us but I always like to you know vlog my day so I'm gonna try to bring you guys in. I'm doing a cardio sculpt class today. I just have on these Nike leggings. They actually are the cropped ones. <laughs> they stop here so I just have on some long socks and then my black hirachis i'm wearing this zip up jacket that i told you guys about it's on my amazon storefront as well as this puffer vest and i'm just gonna carry the same purse that i was carrying yesterday because i don't feel like switching out but yeah so i will see you guys at pilates unless i get caught and then i'll see you guys in the car Done with my workout, you guys. It was 
such a challenge today. The one instructor, Kristen, she goes hard. Like she doesn't care if you're doing a level one, she's gonna give you level 1.5 work. I always try to book her. She, her classes are always waitlisted. Everyone always wants to book hers. My legs feel like noodles. My arms feel like they're going to collapse at any given moment. I feel like I have no control over my body. <laughs> Oddly enough, it feels so good. So I'm gonna go home and take a shower really quick. I've been using this hyaluronic acid from the brand, I don't even know, maybe I can find it and I'll link it down below, but they sent it to me. I love sunscreen that you can apply just all over your face. It's so convenient and you're supposed to apply sunscreen multiple times throughout the day especially if you're gonna be outside. So I just rub it all over my face and I just keep it in my purse. There is another brand that I was using and that I still use, I forget the name, oh my God, Super Goop. I go between this one and the Super Goop one, but I just love any sunscreen that I can just drop into my purse and that's convenient, that's not super oily. I'm getting ready to pull up at my house, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna shower and everything because I really want a protein shake, so I'll show you guys how I make that. And yeah, it's so sunny out today, you guys, but it is like, this morning it was like 14 degrees and right now it's 23 degrees. You guys, this protein shake is so good. Just in case I don't end up keeping in the clips of me making it, I used ice, frozen banana, the chocolate protein powder from Trader Joe's. I used two scoops of collagen, which I also got from Trader Joe's. And then I used the unsweet almond milk. Blend it up. Sometimes I also add spinach leaves to the bottom. So I'll do like the spinach leaves and then I'll put the ice and that is also good. But I really like this protein powder because it doesn't taste too powdery. It just tastes like a chocolate milkshake. I came home to a package from Fenty. Look at this red lip. I want to try this on really quick. Back in the day when I was in my heavy makeup wearing days, I used to love red lip. Like red lipstick used to be my signature lipstick or my signature lip color. And when I had my hair blonde, which you know, now that I have like the blonde back in, I feel like I can go back to my roots. I wanna go back to the red lip. And no one does a red lip like Rihanna. They sent me all five, which I think I already have Riri from the Super Bowl collection. So I already have that one. I tried that one in the last vlog. This one is Sea Sweetheart. And it's a mauve it's like a mauve pink color. This one is Breadwinner, which this looks like a deep brown. Yes. Oh my God, that one is good. I should try that one on too. Brown also used to be one of my signature colors. I was a bold lip color kind of girl. And one thing that I love about red lip, I would wear no makeup and a red lip. And then some like sleek sunglasses. Like I could do my uh, cat eye sunglasses with the red lip. Y'all, I used to slay with the red lip. This one is the MVP. And then this one is HBIC. It's like a velvety, it almost seems like a mousse type of texture. Let me see, it says velvet liquid lipstick, rich whipped and won't suck the life out of your lips. <laughs> Meet a new kind of matte. So I kind of want to try them on. I'm not going to try on Riri because I already tried that one on in the last vlog, but I have my makeup wipes right here and let's try them on. Let's see what they look like. So this one is C Sweetheart 03.
This is too light of a pink for me. So I would need a liner with this one. I would definitely need a liner for this one. <laughs> Red winner is the brown. Excited about this one. Oh my God, stop. That is so good. You guys, I didn't even have to dip this back in. Wait, I really love this one. I wonder what this one would look like if I put hot chocolate on top. Let's try. I'm gonna take my jacket off now. I had it on because it was freezing. It is always so cold in my house. I don't even want to take it off. Let's try on another lip color. I also like the texture of these, like, it doesn't feel like you have anything on your lips at all. Ooh, time for the red, the MVP. I am bold to be sitting here doing this on my cream rug. Oh my God. She's back. She, she's back. Oh my God. Like what the f Rihanna? And I like the tip. It makes it so much easier to apply. And you don't even need to dip back in, you guys. This is all in one like swab. This is how I used to walk around all the time. I would go to work, just no makeup on, red lip. Filling my brows sometime, red lip. And this was my signature look. I was just talking to my best friend about this. <laughs> A little bit ago and she's like I was like you remember when I used to always wear red lipstick you don't even need a liner with this I brought the Charlotte Tilbury liner in here but I don't even want to use a liner I just like the bold red lip with nothing else I'm going back to this like I it's so good I'm like reading all of you guys' comments and so many of you guys like you guys really just make me smile so much. Looking at your comments and a lot of you are like, please go back to the beauty content. And I'm just like, I just really love y'all. Like y'all show me so much love, so much support. And I don't know, I just love y'all. We're gonna try on HBIC. Let's see what this one is hidden for. This one is so sexy. This is such a sexy color. Oh my God. The other one is perfect, don't get me wrong, because it's that bright red that I love, but this one is more evening. This is an evening red. red lipstick on dates is everything like when you go on a date and you wear red lipstick and it gets everywhere <laughs> so what do you guys think of this one do you like this red better the more it's like a deeper red or do you like the MVP red I don't even want to take this off I'm not taking it off right now I'm gonna wear it for a little while that's it for that little haul that was fun make sure you're following me on TikTok too because over on my TikTok, I'm gonna be posting a lot more. I actually have been posting more on TikTok. So make sure that you follow me at I am Shelly with two Y's. Follow me on Pinterest at I am Shelly with four Y's. Follow me on Twitter at That's Shelly. It used to be Oh That's Shelly. Like, oh, that's Shelly. But I changed it to just That's Shelly. And I really wanna go back. <laughs> I'm gonna do some stuff on my laptop. I have to meet with my manager today at four o'clock so i got about three hours to get some stuff done before we hop on our call every time i get on a meeting with my manager i always 
like to make notes of things that I want to talk about, questions that I want to ask. It looks so beautiful outside, but it is so cold. So maybe what I'll do is wait until Leia gets home and then we'll go for like a little walk. It is Friday, so we got a whole weekend ahead of us. I'm thinking that I'm going to end off this vlog today and start up a new one for the weekend. And I'm probably going to go to dinner, probably go out. I'll see what Muff wants to do this weekend. A lot of good content coming up for you guys, so make sure that you are subscribed. Don't forget to turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And if you are looking for me and you don't see me over here on YouTube, make sure that you check out all of my other platforms if i'm not over here i'm i'm somewhere else so make sure that you are following me on my other platforms but let me go ahead and get some work done and i will talk to you guys later <laughs>